Is this cinematic? Is this cinematic? What about this? I dare you to go on YouTube and search for cinematic lighting. You will be inundated with hundreds, probably thousands of videos telling you how to get lighting that's quote, cinematic. The word cinematic is like catnip for people on YouTube. But what does cinematic actually mean? People are obviously searching for this term and the algorithm must love it because these videos are everywhere. But I feel like it's a label that's become absolutely devoid of all meaning. It's not actually referring to anything specific or quantifiable. And I'm also not trying to be difficult or obtuse either when I'm asking this. I'm genuinely curious why this has become such a popular catch-all term that filmmakers and video creators are chasing. These tutorials are always like, how to go from this to this. And it's like, okay, so how to add lighting to an unlit shot? Is that what we're talking about here? I would say that usually what these people are referring to is creating a shot with low key lighting and maybe shallow depth of field. But is that inherently cinematic? Does this shot look cinematic? How about this one? Which one to you looks more cinematic? The first one doesn't really look like what all these tutorials illustrate. It's pretty high key and flatly lit, not a lot of dimension to the frame, while this one looks pretty dynamic. Nice amount of contrast, out of focus background, and look at that catch light in his eyes. The first shot is from Jean Dielmont, which Sight and Sound magazine named the greatest film of all time. And the second shot is from a commercial for diabetes medication, which I can't imagine anything less cinematic than that. But I also don't think that it's quite so cut and dry as all that. Derek C. in France directed a commercial for Dick's Sporting Goods, which on the face of it sounds pretty lame, but he aimed his considerable storytelling skills and understanding of cinematic tools on something seemingly banal and created what I think is a compelling little 60 second story. And that's what I think the distinction is. To me, cinematic indicates something that tells a story visually. After all, that's what cinema is at the end of the day. But I also don't think that it's just exclusive to movies. People often like to peddle in saying that this photograph or that photograph is cinematic, but are they? Is it actually cinematic or is it just a nice photograph? I would argue that something like Gregory Crudson's photography is cinematic because his photographs are evocative and full of drama and mystery and emotion. But a photograph of an old car parked at night in the fog doesn't necessarily tell a story. It can, but you need to ask yourself, does it actually or is it just a cool photograph? Like anything that's true, this issue isn't so cut and dry. I feel like a lot of times when people use the term cinematic, they're referring to a shot that's cleanly lit with nice contrast and maybe some mixed lighting, creamy highlight roll off, whatever the f that means. How do you explain a filmmaker like Harmony Corinne then? Take a look at his films Trash Humpers or Julian Donkey Boy, which certainly challenged the traditional notions of what looks cinematic. You may or may not like these movies, but are these films lesser cinema than say, Jim Carrey's Dark Crimes, which utilizes more traditional lighting techniques and looks like more of a quote conventional film, but which everyone almost unanimously agrees is a terrible movie. Or I'm thinking of one of my all time favorite movies, My Dinner with Andre, which for about 95% of the film is just two guys at a dinner table talking. They shoot coverage and there are some almost imperceptible camera moves, but would this count as cinematic? I also see videos that are like the most cinematic shots from David Lynch movies, which to me feels like saying the most musical notes from Mozart music. Isn't the thing that makes a shot cinematic just that it's from a movie? I don't think that the word cinematic is necessarily a qualitative descriptor like amazing or masterful. I'll say this until the day that I die, but cinematography should be in service of the story that's being told. It should serve highlight, enable, accent the narrative. It shouldn't overshadow it or be disconnected from it. It can purposefully subvert the viewer's expectations and create a dialogue about genre or convention, but just shooting something on an Alexa with anamorphic lenses doesn't make it cinematic if it's not saying anything. Beautiful slow motion footage randomly grabbed while walking around the city for 30 minutes isn't cinematic just because you use an expensive camera or because it looks cool. I think about something like the documentary Salesman, 
which is the grainiest, shakiest, most unlit film I've probably ever seen, but which has some of the most compelling on-screen characters ever. The film is about the transient, desperate, unglamorous life of door-to-door -door salesmen. So its rough-hewn aesthetic fits. It certainly feels cinematic to me. Or how about a movie that I can't shut up about, Poor Things, which liberally uses a 4mm lens which causes enormous vignetting and distortion. Is that cinematic? It's nominated for Best Cinematography, so I would hope so. I think for our own sake that we need to put to rest the term cinematic, because Catch all terms like this don't actually mean anything. It reminds me of when people used to call everyone hipsters. It's like Kanye West was a hipster, but so was the barista at your coffee shop, and also a steampunk guy that rides a penny farthing. Like, how could those three people possibly all be connected under the same term? It just became a shorthand for somebody that you didn't like. And maybe cinematic is the inverse of that where any shot where you like the way that it's lit automatically becomes cinematic. Maybe in the next video, we can dismantle the beguiling notion of an A24 look for movies. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.